Hi, it's Craig and Anna from Get Out There Magazine and today we're outside Collingwood at Scenic Caves where we're going on an eco-adventure tour. 30 minutes ahead of our scheduled tour, we hit the eco-tour cabin to get into the gear provided for us with the help of our guides, Heather and Gord. Then it was a short hike past a sparkling waterfall down to the suspension bridge and a great vista of the southern Georgian Bay region and an incredible story of how the bridge was built. A tractor ride took us to the second part of the tour the treetop canopy walk for a squirrel's eye view of the forest. After a quick but essential ground school session, we were up in the trees for a 45 minute promenade, 30 to 50 feet above the forest floor. The walkway is a series of 10 inch planks connected from tree to tree. It can be wobbly and nerve wracking, but understanding how strong the walkway is makes it easy to just enjoy the moment. Even the most terrified person in our group got the hang of it quickly. The canopy walk ended with a 300 foot zip line back to the ground where we reached speeds up to 35 kilometers an hour. Heather gave us several options on how to get the most fun from our plunge. Falling backwards with no hands seemed to be a great way for the first timers. Another tractor ride took us up to the highest point of the Niagara Escarpment where Gord shared some great stories of the Patoon Indians who at one time farmed the area and were eventually overrun by the fierce Iroquois tribe. Then it was down into the caverns where the history lesson continued and we climbed over the rocky terrain. The grand finale of the tour is the 1,000 foot zip line back to the cabin where we started. On this descent we reached up to 55 kilometers an hour flying over the treetops. What a rush! If you haven't done anything like this before, it really is a lot of fun. I don't like roller coasters for what they do to my stomach, but I really enjoyed this. And it really is very safe. There are multiple equipment checks along the way and we were very comfortable with the focus on safety throughout the tour. Overall, this was an exciting three hours and was made all that more enjoyable by our personable, informative and humorous guides. But we definitely suggest allotting time before or after your tour to explore the balance of the caves that aren't covered in the tour. You should also know that Scenic Caves has a whole other experience to offer in the winter with cross-country skiing and snowshoe trails. Join us for the Get Out There Nordic Fest on February 4th, 2012. Check out the website for more details.